Hello everyone. Let's find out what is the equivalent capacitance of capacitor in series. Recall that in series combination, the capacitors are such that same amount of charge flows through each capacitor. So here we will take up three capacitors called as C1, C2, and then C3. Let us connect these capacitors to a battery which can provide a voltage drop of V. So, a charge Q flows into the combination such that the charge on this would be positive Q. This is negative Q, same it is positive Q, negative Q, and positive Q and negative Q. The drop across the first plate we saw in the previous lecture that the drop the voltage would divide so the voltage drop across the first capacitor will call as v1 so between two points it is v1 for example take a point here and a point here that is if we put a voltmeter and measure across this it will be showing as v1 value the drop across v2 let it be I mean, drop across c2 let it be v2 and let the drop across c3 be B3. So we have three combinations. We have three capacitors. Now the purpose here is to find something called as equivalent. To find equivalent capacitance. It would mean that we need to replace. We need to replace all these capacitors with a single capacitor. For example, think that the voltage drop it provides us say 5 volt. And the charge is say some 10 microcoulomb. Which means this battery is able to provide a voltage drop of 5 volt because of which the charge flowing is 10 microcoulomb. When I say equivalent, we mean that we replace these. That is, it's like 5 volt. Don't buy these numbers. This is 10 microcoulomb. When I say equivalent, it means that we replace all the capacitors, that is 3 in this case, by a single capacitor such that even this capacitor draws the same amount of charge for a given voltage drop. We have the same battery, that is, the battery supplies a voltage of 5 volt and the charge flowing is, say, Q, which in this case is, say, 10 microcoulomb. The same charge flows here also. This is called a C suffix S, which means it is equivalent resistor capacitance in series. So the battery won't know whether we have one capacitor or three capacitors because the effect is same. Such capacitor is called as equivalent capacitor or equivalent capacitance. So the battery will not know whether it is one capacitor or its combinations. The effect is same. That's the meaning of it. We need to find out what is this equivalent capacitance in terms of C1, C2 and then C3. That's our purpose in this case. So first point is from here, it is very obvious that the voltage is breaking up. So voltage drop across each one will be adding up. Therefore, the total voltage drop which is V is equal to sum of individual voltage drops V1 plus V2 plus V3. Now recall that what is V in terms of Q and C. Q is equal to C into V or V is equal to Q by C. Therefore, this V as it is, forget about this one, it's just the equation to be remembered. V is equal to V1 here. So V1 becomes Q by C1 because the charge is same across each capacitor. V2 would be Q by C2 and V3 would be Q by C3. There's no need to put uh, Q1, Q2, Q3 because anyway they are same value only. So don't repeat the steps, just put it as Q only because it is same thing. If we pull out Q common from here, then V is equal to Q comes out, it's 1 by C1, 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. This is what is the voltage drop in terms of C1, C2, C3. 
but our aim is to find out relationship between cs and these parameters so what you can do here is you can say for equivalent or equivalent capacitance if we write the equation here the charge is same even v also same the same effect here also so in this case we can say v is equal to q by cs recall that the charge flowing in both the cases is the same because we are just replacing this by single capacitor the charge cannot change we will call it as 2 comparing 1 and 2 because it is the same voltage drop with the same battery only which is supplying voltage drop of 5 volt in this case and same charge is flowing so if you compare 1 and 2 then what we get here is q by cs is equal to q by 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 from here q is pulled out therefore what you get from here is 1 by cs is 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 so this is the required expression for equivalent capacitance keep in mind that we done it for three capacitors okay let's define this first so you can say that to define this we can say that the reciprocal the reciprocal of equivalent capacitance is equal to sum of reciprocal of individual capacitance that is the reciprocal of equivalent capacitances capacitance is equal to the sum of reciprocal of individual capacitances if we have more than three capacitors for example think of n capacitors then we can write 1 by cs is equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 etc plus 1 by cn this is for n capacitors let's take a case where if all of this is as having same value that is if c1 c2 c3 all of them have same value which is c then this becomes 1 by cs is equal to 1 by c plus 1 by c plus 1 by c etc plus 1 by c there are n such capacitors therefore 1 by cs is equal to n by c or we want cs therefore cs is equal to c by n so if you have n capacitors of same value then the equivalent will become one nth of it for example if you have four capacitors if you have four capacitors in series each one has value of say 12 microfarad so c equivalent would be 12 microfarad which is 10 to minus 6 by number of capacitors which is 4 in this case so equivalent here becomes 3 microfarad which means we can replace these four capacitors in series by a single capacitor of value 3 microfarad keep in mind that in series combination we find that the effective value the effective value would be less than the least value which means if you're connecting three capacitors of say two microfarad three microfarad and say four microfarad then the effective value would be less than the least of it so the value that is cs the equivalent capacitance would be less than two microfarad so series combination is used to obtain a lower value 